so here's here's the deal, right? Um, I'm I'm already in full swing of trying to modify this bitch. Um, so I've seen a lot of people do this intake delete or the forward facing two Jay Z styled intake, which we are definitely going to do the two Jay Z style intake eventually, right? Uh, if you can tell already, I'm going back on my word about barely doing anything to this. So, there's that. Now, um, let's talk about the plan, right? So, today, I'm going to do a mock-up um, of this 3-inch intake tubing that I have. Uh, I paid $119 for it off of Amazon. And I have a couple of couplers that... Um, do the uh, three inch to two and a half. So I'm well aware that a lot of this stuff needs to be messed with. So I'm gonna make sure I do mess with it. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start taking off um, just the air cleaner box and whatnot. Okay, so problem number one, I'm looking already. Let's pull this thing off and show you guys what I already found. Uh, man, I don't know if you guys can really see in that end, but definitely in this end with the light. Um, it is coated in oil inside there. Uh, pretty significantly. Uh, I guess it's a lot better. I'll set this over here. It's a lot better if you look right there. That is, uh, that's pretty significant, my dude. Uh, not good. Definitely not good. Uh, not loving that at all. I mean, it's, it's all over the freaking place. And then you look there. Now, I don't know if that's from the turbo or that's, I, I don't know, right? The only way to really check that is pull this little factory blow off valve shit that they've got here and see what happens. All right, guys, not looking good. Uh, this is the intake. For the turbo, it's not looking good at all. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this bad boy off. Hopefully, the turbo is still pretty hot. Uh, I'll have to set down the phone real quick. All right. I see oil in it already. Not good. Not good at all. Oh yeah. All right, here's my turbo. She is looking very rough and this is not good. Uh, let's see the shaft play. Oh, fuck, fuck. Oh yeah, there's some shaft play there too. Fuck, that's hot. All right. If you guys can hear that. There is a bunch of shaft play. Not good at all. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I'm all about spending money, boys. So, uh, we gonna be getting a new turb ski probably soon. All right, uh, main intake pipe that goes over top of the engine is off, and it is rough skis. It is, it is real rough skis. Uh, all right, so went ahead and tore it down pretty damn far. Um, got the first plug out. Doing some new spark plugs. This is the first plug. Not too sure if that's good or bad, but I have seen a lot worse. Um, I mean, it definitely looks like, I don't know, it's a champion, it's it's not great. So, uh, but we're putting in regular NGK uh, laser platinums. Uh, we're not running any crazy mods on this car right now. So um, just the standard Japanese plug is good enough for me. I've been cleaning. I've got the first plug in. 
uh, but I have been, uh, I've been cleaning up some. I probably should leave the plug wires on as I'm cleaning. I just took that off. I haven't been cleaning with that off. Um, so yeah, unfortunately with these older cars, I broke that grounded cable right there. Um, pulling this off. Didn't even know it was there. It was so, so lightly on there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just cleaning up right now. I'm trying to make it look a lot better than it is. Um, it's obviously, it's very rough. Um, I did plan on doing the um, valve cover gasket on this, but I think once it gets here, I will kind of make that decision. I also want to change the color scheme of this valve cover. Um, it's actually cleaning really well. As you can see, uh, that grime right there is kind of what the rest of it looked like. I'm still working on it though, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. Get all the plugs back in, clean up the turbo, and uh, some of the other components there that have definitely seen better days. So, gonna try to treat her right. All right, found one covered in oil. Number four, I believe, or three, one of the two. Covered in oil. Not a, not a very good look. Uh, here's the other ones. Uh, cleaned it up pretty good, I would say. Uh, even took some brake cleaner to the side of the head. Just a little bit, nothing crazy, just cleaned it up. Uh, I tried to refrain from getting it in the cracks and on the gaskets and hoses, but uh, looks to be looks to be cleaning up pretty good. It looks like I missed a little spot. So, all right, yeah, we're getting there. All right, awesome. So, got the turbo cleaned up a little bit, not a whole lot, unfortunately, since it's pretty toasted. I don't think I'm going to spend too much time on it. I did clean it up what I could. Um, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's fooked, man. Yeah. There's probably like an eighth of an inch of play. Pretty significant. Yeah. Uh, valve cover cleaned up pretty good. Got all the sides clean. Best I could for the most part, I would say. There's, I missed a little bit I can see now, but, um... But yeah, I mean, way cleaner than before. All the new plugs are in. Um, just hooking up hoses and stuff now. All right, awesome. So we cleaned up a good bit, got it all put back together. Test fitted or test set up a new intake that I'm gonna make. And then also looked at placement for the intercooler elbows. It's gonna be tight, but I think we can do it. Um, Pretty much all my gaskets, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like right around there, my, uh, I guess the piece that connects the whale penis, I mean, I don't know, the whale penis thing that connects to the, uh, the front of the turbo, yeah, uh, that fucking thing is toasted, man, super dry, super cracked, super rotted, um, this intake filter was super dirty, this was full of oil. I cleaned it the best I could. I even tried to clean up the power steering a uh, bit there, reservoir uh, a little bit. Um, but I mean, it turned out it turned out pretty clean. I mean, it's way cleaner than it was. And I'm sure you guys can see this is a little off. Um, I need to get better hose. I got new hose on there, but I got to cut it and fucking reset it. But it's not a big deal. And I cut this one a little bit too short, but it'll uh, it'll do right now. I'm I'm losing daylight, so. But man, I mean, just night and day difference. Night and day. Oops, excuse me. Night and day difference for sure. So we'll go for our first start, see how she does with the new plugs. All right, cool. So she seems to be running all right.
perspective. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, we did a hell of a lot of cleaning. It looks a lot better. Uh, cleaned all the intake tubing. Uh, even though we won't be using this for much longer, I'm just waiting on my adapters or else I would have been able to do it in this video. Um, but yeah, I have all the uh, three inch piping there and now I'm just waiting for the uh, adapters or the two and a half inch to three inch couplers um, that'll go right there and over there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research though to figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Um, and if I can delete that, I will, which I have no idea. I'm gonna have to look it up. So don't yell at me in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, new new spark plugs seems to be running a lot better. I think they took a, the computer a few minutes to kind of figure out what was going on though, because uh, it stalled out on me after one good pull that I didn't record. Um, I think the computer just had to adjust to the uh the corrections um but yeah anyways uh more importantly we've established that the uh the turbo is foxed 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 the turbo is fucked uh, i'm gonna need a new one of those uh, i'm gonna need another one of these uh whale penises um i don't know the technical name for it and then i've got uh a couple really sweet parts coming uh the apexy mod that i mentioned earlier the downpipe and a fresh intercooler and of course you know the intercooler piping that's with it that's new too it's all going to be three inch it's going to be uh it's going to be awesome but i shouldn't have to do a whole lot more to it um before we do the turbo um i'll probably do a 57 trim turbo from drift motion and then call it a day um at least on the uh the power department maybe an air motive fuel pump it's like a 100 bucks um potentially injectors but i mean i doubt it we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see and then later down the line you know when we decide to change up our setup then we'll uh we'll do the do cool 2jz intake thing um but i did want to mention a couple things to you guys so i don't know how often this car was serviced but it was obviously not that often i mean this isn't the worst intake i've ever seen but it is pretty gnarly and then in addition to that, I found oil in the turbo, which I kind of already suspected. Play in the input shaft, um, or turbo shaft, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, um, I also found oil the whole way through the intake. Luckily, we finished in the nick of time. It's just now starting to get dark. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys stay slow and broke. And I will see you next time.